Hi, this is Tim Fargo, and I'd like to walk you through the new Social Jukebox. Um, how you can get your account set up from Tweet Jukebox to Social Jukebox, or even just if you're converting from the old um, kind of similar situation with Social Jukebox before the new software was put up. Um, in any event, um, here's the front page, the, the home page, and since you'll be coming from Twitter, um, <clears throat> that's going to be how you log in. Um, it's very important to note you need to use your master account to log in. That's going to be the key to logging in. Um, and the, one of the reasons is because the relationship we have to you and the data you have is based on that master account. Um, so otherwise, the data could end up going to someone else, right? So by logging in with the master account, you bring the data across. Um, and it automatically turns that off, by the way, um, on the Tweet Jukebox side. Um, and the same thing will happen once you log in with your master account, then you're going to need to relink your sub accounts. Um, it's pretty fast, pretty simple, um, but I just want you to know that before we get started. So let's click on here, let's sign in um, using Twitter. And just as a demonstration, you'll see I tried to log in with a sub account, non-master account fun alarm, which is under another account of mine called mind the quote. So what I'm going to need to do here is I'm going to need to go back to Twitter. I'm going to log out and then I'm going to log back in with my master account, which is mind the quote. And again, the purpose of this is to just make sure that we have some data security and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so now we can go back here to log in and now we'll sign in with Twitter so that we can get in here and there we go alright so this is what you're gonna see when you first log in to the new system that your systems off and would you like to turn it on because it'll be the first time most of you have ever seen it I would recommend that you select no um, and that will give you a chance to poke around a little bit and get comfortable before you turn it on. And it's obviously pretty easy to do that. So um, just one sec and we'll take a look here. Um, all right, so here's the new interface. And some people have actually been shocked. They're like, oh, it's so different. It's actually, it's not that different. Um, the difference is instead of there being a tree menu over here on the side where you click on jukeboxes and they all pop up, now they're all displayed on the screen in front of you. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to do that is that I, from my perspective, it was just really difficult. If you wanted to turn a lot of jukeboxes on and off, um, I have occasion to want certain things that I'm promoting on and then I want to turn them off and going in and out of all the jukeboxes just got to be really time consuming. Um, and I thought this was a great way to, um, compensate for that by putting some of the um, easier stuff right in front at your fingertips and so now you can turn things on just by you know you can click here and you can turn them on um, and so that's pretty easy and then oh I don't want those on you can turn them right back off again um, so we wanted that functionality let's say for instance um, I don't have any linked accounts yet but I'll sh you know the functionality of being able to copy like so I don't have any linked accounts um, but being able to copy a jukebox or move a jukebox to one or more accounts like, let's say for instance you have five linked accounts and you want to share a jukebox to all of them now it's just a couple clicks um, because you can click on that and then um, I'll show you once I link an account but uh, it it's very very simple um, so anyhow that's that's the basic level interface right so um, the other thing I want to do here just to show you is I want to turn on two jukeboxes I almost always use which is my uh, mems and my text quotes um, so we'll turn those on and <clears throat> then we're gonna go here and um, let me just see let's get these up at the top all right these are both on and 
let me just, you know what, just to, for purpose of illustration, I'm going to turn everything on, which is going to create some chaos. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, these little red dots are conflicts. And what does that mean? A conflict means that you may have one or more posts going out at the same time related to these jukeboxes. Please be aware that it does not stop your posts from going out. If you have if you're only turning on the jukeboxes you had on previously before you uh, signed up and for your new account on social jukebox, it's not posting anything any differently than you had previously. You can leave them on. It's not again, it's not going to do anything any differently than before. However, if for whatever reason you wanted to, um, and I'm going to use auto schedule here for all 49 jukeboxes. Um, so 49, so I'm going to go ahead and do um, <clears throat> 98. Um, so I'll do, that'll end up being two each. Um, and I'm going to select for all days, right? And you, you notice that there was a conflict on all these days. And I just want to do this really quick with auto schedule to show you this, um, what happens when you schedule these. Auto schedule was generated. So let's go back to the jukeboxes, which are all on. All the conflicts are gone. Now, I went through auto schedule really fast. There's another little video module on that. If you're interested, you can go and get in more depth with that. But if you're interested in resolving these conflicts, auto schedule is a really easy way to do it. But again, I can't overemphasize. It's nothing to really worry about. It's nothing that wasn't happening before. But we have had people curious and want to know without eyeballing the visual schedule if they had any like tweets going out or posts going out at the same time. So um, now you know that. All right, so that's just getting you in here. And now I logged in with my master account. One last thing, let's link another account. Let's go back and get Fun Alarm brought over here um, and so that we have that account uh, to, to mess with as well. <clears throat> and I can show you the uh, copy and move feature again. Um, so, and this is a reminder. Um, we have a Chrome extension. Now I had it loaded already for for mine the quote, but you, if you don't already have this um, Chrome extension, I highly recommend you get it. It is a super fast way to both share content as well as um, batch process retweets into a jukebox. And I'm going to do an entire um, tutorial just on that, but. Um, I highly recommend you do it. Um, and so there's that piece. Now we've got this account that's linked. We'll go over here to the side. There it is. And let's just make sure, like, hey, you know, I just brought this over. Um, I'm not going to turn this one on either. But here's all 17 jukeboxes. Okay, this account did not exist, as you may have seen earlier. I did not have any linked accounts. Now it's brought it over. It's brought all the data from Tweet Jukebox, so everything's there, right? So <clears throat> let's go back to the um, let's go back to the main account, to the master account, mind the quote, and the the thing I want to show you real quick. If you want to copy a jukebox, isn't that cool? I mean, you can just click on that, and if you had 20 linked accounts they'd all pop up. You could share your content back and forth any way you want. Um, so real super easy and simple. Um, and there's a lot of other functionalities and features. I just want to have this as a get started video and try to cut it off here so um, to make it watchable so you can get back to setting your accounts up. Um, that's it. We're getting started. We're real excited. And um, if you have any questions or concern, as always, you can reach me at tim at socialjukebox.com. Thanks so much.